breast milk is the best natural nutrition for your baby so learn how to attach your baby well stay tuned let's go hello everyone you are welcome to our channel this is Fina Mike with her lovely baby you're always welcome if this is your first time of coming you're highly welcome thanks for coming please click on that subscription button and ring the bell so that you can always be notified whenever we upload you will love to be the first to be notified so ring the bell and for my returning subscribers you're always welcome i am well pleased as always thank you for coming in today's video we'll be discussing about attaching your body your baby to the breast so many moms are having problem with this especially the new moms they are really having problem with this so i've come up with it to help us uh, to know how to attach your baby the best way to attach your baby to your breast as you can see my baby is sleeping she has shot and she's loaded <laughs> she's okay and she's resting so let's go guys breastfeeding we all know that breastfeeding is natural it is natural and it is also a skill that can take some time to practice to learn yes it can take some time to learn it's very difficult because some people breastfeed without knowing that they are not doing the right thing in this video we are going to discuss the, the effect the bad effect of not breastfeeding your baby well and the good one of breastfeeding your baby well when they are well attached so it will take you time to take you time to learn yes and sometimes it, it takes patience because sometimes you might want to attach the baby well and the baby will not be in the mood you have to put him or her in the mood so that is why i say that sometimes it, it takes time to practice the key to successful breastfeeding is good attachment mm. if your baby is if your baby is attached deeply to your breast she will get more milk and breastfeeding will be more comfortable for you as well if your baby is well attached she or he will get more milk from the breast and uh, it will be more comfortable for you as well so you need to attach your baby well yes if your baby is attached to your nipple just your nipple he will get very little milk that is the truth if your baby is attached only to your nipple if you want to practice this bring out your breast when it's well if the milk is spilled or you feel it that there is milk on it press your nipple alone you will see that little quantity of milk will drop and when you press the breast from the body you will see that more of that milk will come out like what does the same thing with when your baby is sucking if it's just in the nipple if her mouth is in the nipple she will get little quantity of milk but when it's well attached she will get enough milk to sustain her for the day and one of the advantage of giving your baby your nipple alone is that your nipple can get pink you know sometimes the we mothers when breastfeeding baby they feel pain it's not supposed to be so you don't supposed to feel pain for any reason if your baby is sucking your breast if when it's not well attached that is when you can see pinch or sharp pain in the nipple that is why i keep advising that you learn how to attach your baby well so that you and your baby can enjoy the sucking moment <laughs> what steps you have to know the steps you have to take to help baby attachment to become effective so what are these necessary steps you need to take firstly you have breastfeed in the first hour after birth that is the first step you have to know and this will help the baby to have instinct behavior that will help him find the breast and attach 
Let me use as in this natural position. It's very okay. It, it starts with the first month. Every woman knows after giving birth. That is when the first uh, breastfeeding you give your baby after birth. That is when they get what is called cholesterol. The first milk they get is very nutritious, is very helpful to the baby. And this 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 breastfeeding after birth will help the baby with the position. It will help the baby to have instinct behavior that will help him find the breast and attach. You know, when you give birth, you lie with your back and the baby is being put in your chest or your stomach. That natural position, the baby will find your breast and attach. Well, some mothers even use this position, this natural position for days or even weeks after birth. But as the baby grows, it will not be advisable you continue with that position. That is why I'm here to teach you the positions you need and what you need to do to help your baby attach well. Secondly, you use what is called calm baby. Calm baby. This, in this method, you feed your baby whenever she starts to show the signs that she's hungry. How do you know if your baby is hungry? You will notice some feeding signals, like they move their mouth, their lips, something like this. You know that the baby is looking for food. Some of them will be putting their hands in their mouth, trying to feed themselves with their hands or their fingers. Some of them will be turning their head, just as this one is doing right now. <laughs> They will be turning their head, you know, that the baby is looking for food. What will you do as a mother? You know that this my child needs food. You just have to help him or her and breastfeed him. But how? How will you breastfeed him? That is what we are here to discuss. So when you notice that your baby is hungry, what will you do as a mother? Go ahead and feed your baby before she starts crying. How do you do this? How do you achieve this? You hold your baby, hold your baby in a way that makes him or her feel secure and easy. Bring your baby closer to your to your body, pressing and touching your body. The baby should be pressing and touching your body, and his neck, his ear, and shoulder should be in line as you are carrying the baby. That will make the baby up and ease. That will make the baby to swallow the milk easily. Many mothers make the mistake of pushing the nipple into the mouth of the baby. And it's very wrong. You don't force the nipple into the mouth of the baby. It's when it's not wide open. That is when it's not wide open. But it's not the right idea. Because instead of instead of him to get enough milk him or her will not get enough and that leads to the baby being restless and crying even while feeding so what you need to do is to lightly put the bread the nipple up, up at the upper up, up at the top of his lips as he's trying to catch it or you felt the nipple opposite to his nose as he's trying to catch it you know that by then his or her mouth is already wide open and you put in the, the nipple, the breast for him to be well attached and get enough milk. I have to say to this one too, as you can see, she's giving me all the signs that she's hungry. So let me say to her. Secondly, if, you're, if you are holding your breast, make sure that your nip, your finger is away from your nipple make sure your fingers if you are holding your breast make sure that your finger is away from your nipple that will give your baby a room to attach deeply if your finger is in your nipple you your finger and your baby's mouth will be dragging dragging for the breast and that will prevent your baby from attaching well so make sure your finger is away you can hold your breast here and then uh, help hold the upper side of it like this make sure your finger is away from the nipple so that your baby can 
be well attached. When worried that your baby is not breastfeeding easily, sometimes when you are breastfeeding a baby, you see that the baby is struggling to breathe. So when you are worried that your baby doesn't breathe well when he or she is breastfeeding, bring the baby closer to your body. Don't shift him away from your body. That will worsen the issue. Bring him or her closer to your body and you will see that once that he or she is well attached, the breast will not disturb his nose from breathing and he will breathe perfectly and enjoy his meal as he's taking it. That is his meal, you know. So how can you tell if your baby is well attached? This is another question that people keep asking. Firstly, you observe her on your breast. Observe your baby on your breast. Her mouth should be wide open instead of a nearly closed mouth. When the baby is sucking, if he or she is well attached, her mouth wide sucking should be wide open because it's not just the nipple the baby is sucking from. It's sucking from both the nipple and around the nipple. And the mouth has to be wide open open as if he or she is yawning sorry guys my baby is sleeping so i had to lie her down so how will you know if your baby is well attached firstly you watch you observe your baby on your breast check how wide is the mouth of your baby if the mouth of your baby is wide enough and she or he is sucking comfortably, then he or she is well attached. Remember, before you put your breast in, the, in your baby's mouth, firstly, you put the nipple on his, on his or her top nip, lips here. You know, at that time, the baby is struggling to catch up with what is coming. Some people use their hand, but I don't advise that. Use your nipple. Or you point your nipple, opposite his or her nose you will be looking for where the food is coming from and that time he or she is ready to grab to get whatever that is coming his way by then once you see that his mouth is wide open you put in the, the breast in his mouth that is the reason why his mouth should be wide open while he's sucking but if it's just a little bit open you know that he is not well attached He's only sucking from the nipple, which will not give him enough milk. And remember, once enough milk is not being produced, your baby will not be well fed. And your breast milk won't be produced. Your breast won't be producing enough milk also. Because the more the milk is coming out, the more milk is pumping up. Secondly, her chin should be press into the breast not away from the breast the chin of your the chin of your baby should be pressed into the breast not away from the breast if the chin is pressed into the breast you know that the baby is well attached but if it's away from the breast you know that he or she is not well attached more areola should be seen above the baby's mouth there's another way you know that the baby is well attached fourthly all her lips should be torn out like a fish her lips as she's talking all her lips should be torn out like a fish i'm sorry i'm using that in that way you will know that your baby is well attached but if he's struggling with the nipple, the breast, you will see that he's even using here to hold the nipple from coming out. And that way you know that the baby is not well attached. His cheek should be rounded and not soft. His cheek should be rounded and not sucked in. When the baby is not well attached, you find out some of the baby, you will see that their cheek is being sucked in. Instead of when they are well relaxed and well attached, you see that their cheeks are rounded. 
Uh, next is that if the baby keep off the breast, then he is not well attached. Just as I said before, when the baby is not well attached, you see that as they are sucking, their mouth is coming out from the nipple and that will cause you pain. Now, when you check your nipple, you see that your nipple might be pinched. Breastfeeding should be comfortable except from the temporary tenderness in the first few days after birth. That also can be controlled because some people feel serious pain after giving birth. That I will discuss in my next video on how you can control the pains you feel after giving birth in your nipple. I will we'll talk on that in the next video. So breastfeeding, when your baby is well attached, you will yourself that is breastfeeding, your baby should be more relaxed and comfortable, just like the baby that you are breastfeeding. You should not be pinched. Yes, I've been saying it. You should not be pinched, pulling or rubbing on your nipple. You should not be doing that. If breastfeeding is painful, then your baby is not well attached. If your baby's attachment is shallow, if your baby's attachment is shallow, gently take her off your breast. If the attachment is shallow and you want to correct things, you gently take your baby off your breast by using a clean finger, by pulling in a clean finger from a corner like this so that it can make things right next is that it's important to correct shallow attachment it is very very important because it makes your milk to produce lesser when the attachment is shallow i've been saying it you produce less of milk so correction should be taken and it won't be easy but you just have to put it into practice breastfeeding in a proper way is not easy especially for first mom but you just have to put it into practice you have to practicalize it to perfect it once you are used to it it won't be a work for you anymore so breast milk as i've said before is the best nutrition for your baby so learn how to do what learn how to attach your baby wow this will lead to good drinking and plenty of breast milk when your baby is well attached it leads to plenty of breast milk you see your baby bubbling <laughs> your baby will be looking so cute and healthy you yourself would love to see your baby sorry my phone fell down you yourself would love to see your baby and look at your baby while he or she is breastfeeding. Another is this, and there will be no need. There will be no need to give your baby an extra milk once your baby is well breastfed. Once you breastfeed your baby well, there will be no need for extra milk because the milk produced from your breast is enough. For the baby at least for the full six months of his life we all know that it's very very necessary to breastfeed our baby for at least six months before before introducing any other food to him so remember babies feels from the breast and not the nipple baby feeds from the breast and not the nipple hear this and get used to it um i believe this video will help you go a long way thank you so much for love for watching <laughs> i want to say that i love you guys thank you so much i'm really happy and i appreciate your time you brought out to watch this video if there is anything you want to know about baby as a new mom or old mom you are confused about anything you can as well drop your question in the comment section and i'll definitely get back to you i'm here to help my fellow moms thank you so much our next video will be coming up soon and that will be on how what you should do to your baby before birthing your baby a newborn the necessary things you should do 
before you finally date your baby what your baby needs from you as a mother while betting him or her thanks for watching please don't forget if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe subscribe you need to be a member of this channel let's keep moving i love you all thanks for coming thanks for always being there Finamai. stay tuned always